so today I'm gonna be talking about tips and tricks for sleeping problems. So, as I said earlier, I have had sleeping problems and my nights used to look like something like this. So, let's see how it used to look. tip is to be out in the sun at least one hour per day though it though it produces hormones in the body that helps to regulate your um, awakens during day and night your like sleep cycle during day and night um, per like the hormone melatonin and like it also reduces the stress hor hormone cortisol if I'm correct so yeah that's a very good tip. Another tip is to put away all your electronics, like your computer, phone, iPad, tablet, smartwatch maybe, I don't know. Another great tip is weighted blankets. said, you can try weighted blankets. So I have a weighted blanket here. Ugh. Let me out. <clears throat> yeah, so like this is oh Kura. Um with that is so like this and it has some uh, small balls balls in it like it's fiber I think and then <clears throat> I also have the mini version and that is a quilt, 6 kilos and it's also from Kura. And then I have another weighted blanket that has um, this sewn in chains. As you can see it is actually real chains that are inside. And yeah, so like this side is more visible. Oh, it's there. You can see these chains. So you should definitely try that out if you haven't. So as I said, you can use essential oils, and a very good essential oil to use for sleeping problems in general or like relaxation is lavender um, yeah it says on Swedish but it says lavender oil and then I also got this one that is mandarin petite grain and lavender and then I also bought this from from Lush 
it is it is a body lotion that is with oat milk and lavender flowers so like it is a body lotion that you're supposed to like that is called sleepy that you're supposed to put on like maybe here before you go to bed that is supposed to help it like it is like basically the same thing as the essential oils but not the same thing and the essential oils you can also put in like a diffuser if you have that so like you can put it in the room and then another thing you can try is the temperature in your room like if it is too hot then you can't sleep like who can sleep when they're feeling like they're burning up no one I don't think no one can it so you're supposed to have a nice temperature and now that it's summer maybe it's harder but like you can try sleeping with a window open or maybe so or like get a fan or something I don't know but like and try to get it in a good temperature before you go to bed important tip that you may be not be thinking about but like it is completely obvious when you think about it is a comfortable bed if you don't like your bed you are not gonna feel good whenever you're gonna sleep like if it's just too hard you're just gonna be like ugh, ugh, ugh. but if it's like too soft then you're gonna feel like ugh, I'm just sinking I can't I can't I can't sleep when I'm sinking like no it doesn't work so make sure that you have a comfortable bed and things that you want in your bed to get the best sleep that you can and then another very important tip if you are like if the sleeping problems are like because of like anxiety or like because of stress then another important thing that you can try is to write down your worries before you go to bed or like your to-do lists that you have to do but you haven't had the time to do then write that down and like and like decide oh i'm gonna write this down and i'm gonna and I'm gonna check it out tomorrow, tomorrow morning when I wake up. And maybe you realize, oh, why was I stressing about this? It was not so important. Oh, like, why was I worrying about this? It was not that big of a deal, really. So like, then you maybe can just let it go or like you try to do it the next day and like continue doing that. It takes practice though, if you're really bad at it. So yeah. to like help with I don't know anxiety or something is meditation or like re relaxation um, and there are a lot of different apps you can use YouTube uh, books you can get a book like with different kind of exercises that you can do that are relaxation exercises and stuff like that so definitely try that out if you haven't uh, it helps me a lot, I would say. I do it. I got a video from my physiotherapist that I do every night that is about like 15 min minutes and it works. So it actually works quite good. The last tip that you can use is headphones or earplugs if you are having trouble sleeping because of the sound levels or like you are really sensitive to sound or like someone that may be snoring that you're sleeping with then you can try to use earplugs and I use these headphones um, when I go to sleep uh, so yeah I sometimes end up falling asleep with this and these are noise cancelling also um, you don't have to have the you don't have to have the bulky headphones if you don't like that they are big. There are also AirPods today that are noise cancelling, but I did yeah. So that's another option that you can use. So the last 
tip is routine. Uh, create a sleep routine when you go to bed at the same time every single day and wake up at the same time every day. It will help you so much and your body rhythm and your sleeping pattern. So try to figure that out and try to stick to it even if you sleep bad one night. And another important thing when coming to sleeping problems is of course, if you just have sleeping problems, like for a short period of time, it's nothing to worry about. You may be, be going through like a stressful time of your life or something or something. But another important thing that I should mention is if your sleeping problems does not improve or like don't, don't go over, then maybe you should go to the doctor and like check up so that nothing is like wrong in like the vitamin levels or like maybe iron deficiency that can cause sleeping problems and tiredness so just like go to the doctor and check out so that everything is okay so you don't have to think about that or like worry about it and so and um, yeah so that's just and if you like this video then make sure to comment like and subscribe and have a great day